What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of NX Tutorials. In today's episode, I'll be showing you the pattern feature. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so as you can see we have the print here. We will be working off of this print. So uh, basically, the first thing we need to do is create this block. 250 by 125 and 25 millimeters thick. Now you can sketch it out create four lines, make the sketch, extrude to 25 millimeters, or you can simply create a block, which is the easiest way. That once we have the block, we'll create four holes of 20 millimeters in diameter. We'll use the linear pattern, and then we do have the 10 millimeters hole. We got eight of those going in 360, so we have to use a circular pattern. So I'll go ahead and show you both of those. Alright, so the first thing is go ahead and create a new file. We'll specify our units in millimeters. You want to name your folder. Choose your folder destination. Go ahead and click OK. We'll go ahead and create a block. Come up here and click block. Alright, so we want it 25 millimeters. It's going to go in the x axis, 250 millimeters wide in the y axis, and 125 in the z axis. So go ahead and click OK. We'll go ahead and change the view. Alright, so here's our block. Alright, the first thing is I'm going to go ahead and start in the middle, in the center of the, the hole, which is a 50 millimeters in diameter. So I'm going to come up here in the hole, click your hole. Then it's going to ask you for the face. You want to select the face of the block. Alright, once you have that, Go ahead and dimension. Alright, so it's 62.5, which is halfway of the block. Close out. And then we'll go ahead and dimension this side. This is 125 millimeters. Alright. So now our sketch is fully constrained. Go ahead and finish. And the print is calling out for a 50 millimeter hole. So go ahead and change that 50 millimeters. And the boolean is automatically going to subtract. So go ahead and click OK. So now it's going through body. All right. Next, we'll go ahead and create the circular pattern line, the holes. But first, you need to create the hole, the first hole. So, go ahead and make another hole. Select your face. We want to inline with the center hole, so I'll go ahead and put zero. Close out. And this is actually 40 millimeters away from the center. So double click on the dimension and then put 40. Close out. Your sketch is fully constrained. Go ahead and finish. Next you want to change the diameter. We want it to be 10 millimeters. In the same way with the limits, depth limit, you want it through body, so that way it's going all the way through the block. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, now we go ahead and do the pattern. You want to come up here in the pattern feature. And if you can't find it, you can always search in the search box. Just type in pattern. And 
and it should pop up here. Once you hover over it, it's going to highlight it in red and tell you where it, exactly where it's at. So go ahead and click on Pattern Feature, exit out from the search command. Alright, so the first thing is, it's asking you to select the feature. So you want to select the whole, and then you want to specify the vector. We want it going around on the x-axis, so highlight the x. And then we want it circular under the layout. Alright, so we'll go ahead and specify the vector again. You can actually come up here in the vector dialog. And then you want to scroll down x-axis. And it's the same thing, it's going to go around. Alright, next is going to specify your point. So we want to work off of this point going around this uh, hole. So you want to select this edge, the point. Alright. The spacing you want to count and span. And we want to eight holes going around. The span angle is 360. Or you could do it the count and pitch 45 degree which is the same same thing. Alright, once we have that, go ahead and click OK. Alright, there you have it. Now we got our holes and pattern according to the first hole that we created. Alright, next we'll go ahead and uh, create the corner holes. So we want to come up in the hole. Select this face of the block. You want to dimension it, so the print looks like it's uh, 25 millimeters from both edges. So double click on the auto dimension, type in 25, and the same thing with this dimension, close out, double click, type in 25, enter, click close. Alright, so now your sketch should be fully constrained, go ahead and finish. Alright, and these holes are actually 20 millimeters in diameter. So we'll type in 20 under the hole diameter. And we do want it through body under the limit. And then go ahead and click OK. Alright. We'll go ahead and create another pattern feature. So that way it's going to create four holes on each corner. So go ahead and click pattern feature. Alright, now this time the layout we want it linear instead of circular. And then go ahead and select the feature. So we want this hole. Specify vector. Highlight your Z axis so that way it's going down. And it's uh, 75 coming down. And the count we wanted two holes in total so we got the first plus the second one. And then under here it says direction 2, so we'll go ahead and create this. So make sure you check use two directions. And then specify the vector. We want to go in this on the y axis. So select your axis. And that should do the same thing count 2 and the diam the distance is 200 millimeters apart. And then go ahead and click OK. Alright, now we have this. Next, go ahead and uh, change the color by uh, holding Control on J. You want to select your object, go ahead and click OK. Click on the color box. Choose your preference. Click OK. Alright, next I want to hide this datum uh, coordinate system. Go to view, move to layers, select your object, invert the selection, click OK, 
5. We'll go ahead and tell it to go to layer 5. Click OK. Next, we'll go ahead and uh, click on the layer setting and uncheck number 5 so that way we don't see it. Go ahead and close out. And there's our part. Alright, guys, there it is. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time.